Hey guys, Moidog here, and as we say goodbye to 2023 and prep for the new year, I thought it'd be nice to take a look back at the top 10 tank battles on Eye in the Sky. Yes, this is going to be nothing else but armor on armor, but don't worry, over the next week or two, we'll have all of this year's top 10 videos out so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the plays. But before we get into it, I do want to say thank you all so much for enjoying the content over the past year. We've recently hit over 200,000 subscribers, but most of y'all who do watch my videos aren't actually subscribed, so if you do like this kind of stuff, do remember to hit that button. But that's enough of that, let's get to the top tank battles of 2023. One of the slowest tank fights I think I've ever seen. Polar is running up with his AT4. Tracks the T-72. That is huge for U.S. armor. Fantastic play by the American Lat. And T-72 is now going to be a sitting duck. As you can see, the Abrams kick on their engines. And an ATGM from the Bradley also goes into the front plate of the T-72. Both T-72s are firing. They're not going to even be able to notice that... <laughs> Abrams are flanking him. ATGM finishes off one tank. Abrams need a swing to the left. There you go. T-72 right on the other side. They're going to crest. They get over and this pipe might be right in the way. And it does. First round for the Abrams. Smacks into the front of the pipe. T-72 doesn't know where they're going. Don't even know where that came from. ATGM flies into the side of the Abrams. Now that was tracked on the side as well. Double tracked for the T-72. Oh, it's the third T-72. Third T-72 from the left side. And what is even happening right now? How is, is this actually? T-72 flanks kills one Abrams. Second T-72, or I guess original T-72 goes down. Oh my God, right through the ammo rack. Unbelievable. Third T-72 comes out of the woodwork, flanks the Abrams. And what a play. That's why you want your tanks together. T-72 comes out of nowhere. And it is a tank graveyard in the middle of Goose Bay. Ooh. 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 There it is. Leopard. They can't see him. He's right in front. And I think they impacted the front of the T-62. And that T-62 is going to be... Oh. The T-62 bounces off the front of the desert. Oh, then Leopard also misses T-62 with a lifeline. And he impacts T-62, able to get one shot on target. Leopard with another one, and one more shot. The T-62 will go down. T-62 misses. Oh, the screen for the BTR, and it might work. BTR plays hero right now. Oh, Leopard still in another. Oh, he's still in position. Another impact. Leopard misses. Is it going to happen again? Leopard. Another impact. And T-62 is still alive. Second T-62 firing now. The Leopard. Misses again. T-62s can pull it out. And again, they miss. Oh no, it pins through, but just barely. Uh, T-62 is on fire. Leopard's on fire. They both miss. They both missed. Both T-62s misses. Leopard is just barely alive. He needs to put the fire out and he does. T-62 can't finish it off or can he? How is that not me? T-62. Which is fair. Did anybody else just see the fucking deal on the how can say? <laughs> what is happening? The T-62s can't finish it off. They're hitting some weird part of armor. Leopard has no idea where he is too. 
are they are they firing heat or something this is i'm very confused leopards and whiff There is some weird armor physics at, and they just go away. Leopard just, you need to buy a lottery ticket if you're the leopard right now. There it is. One challenger out north, one challenger east. And you have a T-72 as well. Armor is about to open up into Fallujah. T-72 on a collision course to this Chally. Challenger two. Oh, just turns. And I. Oh, nope. Challenger peeks out. T72 spots him first. T72 right into the front turret. And the Challenger finally impacts. Sins one a little late. That's going to allow T72 to get another one off. And what a shot right into the middle of the turret. That turret ring has not got to feel good. BMP. Wow. <laughs> that round went right through our camera. BMP fires an ATGM and pops them. T T72 and BMP tag team in the challenger. Challenger is backing up in a whole bunch of smoke. BMP moves to engage. A second challenger comes up to support. One challenger round into that BMP. BMP rolls off the side of the road. T-72 deflects off the top turret. Challenger impacts again, and it skims just that left track. One track is disabled. Another impact right through the front. Chally turret. T-72 just has to lay down and wrap. Tried. Oh, another round deflects off that turret. Challenger misses. BMP is just off down to our left trying to repair in the dirt. Try to be careful going there. They have a half in between. Finally starts backing up. Challenger misses a second one. Oh, that is not how you yeah, want to do this. T-72 has now gotten two back-to-back -to -back shots. Challenger has to smoke and fall back. Hey, we're crossing. We're both Challenger both starts to fall back a bit. That impacts. Challenger. Oh, hold on a second. Now there it is, T-72. This is a second one. Both of them. Uh, new mark, new mark. Eight mark is accurate. T-72 might be able to see that smoking and now on fire. Chally crewmen have to dismount and get that fire out if they want to stay in this fight. But a second, T-72. Oh, no. I think one just... The crewmen, they're dying. We're one crewman, I think, just burned alive. T-72 is going to roll up and this Chally just might so cook off. Oh gosh. Oh, and the T-72 misses. Challenger crewman just stares down the barrel and it, what's he going to do? Unless something. Oh my goodness. Challenger crew. I have no idea what they're doing. Oh, they're about to. You can see Leopard is about to be here. Enemy radio near here, top identified on the map. You can see Romeo there 18. your front left coming up. The gully valley hillside? Whatever you call it, Leopard seven, six, is about to run right into two T seventy twos. Thanks for coming, meme. Great shot. Good call out. On my observe, on my observe, engaging. Leopard right, takes a shot. T72 takes a shot. Leopard doing good yeah, yeah. to try to get his ammo rack, which is the front right on our side. Trying to get it out of the way. The smoke. I thought the dry smoke was a little much, but he's now completely hidden in his own dry smoke. What a fantastic use of dry smoke. Leopard that should have been dead to rights has somehow just houdinied himself behind the hills. T-72 is a little confused. I'm confused myself. 
this leopard who didn't eat all of us. That's a different leopard. Tanks, That's a different leopard. Right now, they're all around you. Second leopard coming in. Seven, eight, or I'm sorry, oh, and he dumps it short. Get Second hit, leopard hit, hit. gets Fuck a good up. shot in on the side. T-72 on the front left of our screen. Dumps it short into the side as well. Oh, good shot into the side of the enemy leopard. I still don't know where the second one went, or the first one, rather. T-72 gets another shot on target, and he is just about dead. Oh, he's still alive. He's still alive. He's got smoke up. Yeah, Another T-72 comes in from the back and actually gets engine trying to join the fight. Out, out. Oh, yeah, he should be tracked. He should be tracked. I tracked him. Leopard. He has maybe one shot left before he pops. T-72 trying to come in for the kill. And there it goes. One leopard down. Three T-72s out in the field. This one leopard absolutely houdini does. And I still have no idea where he's at. Oh, there he is down in the valley. This is not the same leopard. He's pushing us, sounds like. Roger. The, the other leopard was damaged. Dude, they do not see him. Leopard is going to get flanked. Can we have some infantry support, please? Guys, we're not going to last longer at Hilltop here. We've got at least two. We're pushing, we're pushing. The leopard doesn't see him. Oh, he goes right into the side. The front. I'm gonna aim right on. Oh, he ammo racked him. All right, he's dead. You can hear it starting to crackle off. One shot into the ammo rack. Second shot One finishes him up. One There's still tank. another tank there. somewhere. The first tank that pulled that magic on us. This is the last one of the four. Lodgy way on the distance. Still don't know where this tank went. Good work, Armour. Good work. Come on. Uh, east of that Wow, this this tank crew that got engine earlier. Is it tracked? This tank crew got that engine early has actually lost his crew. So T-72s came in three strong and are now down a tank. They haven't lost it just yet. We're getting artillery now at Hilltop. How in the world did that tank get all the way over there? This is the first one. He was trying to go for the super flank. I would suggest if you guys go down, tell them to hold their spawns and get ready to take hilltop back. That is some good driving to get around pretty much everything. C-72 has moved to close in yeah, on the track yeah, Leopard. And unfortunately for the Leopard, he's looking the wrong way. He took a lat shot. He may be tracked. He is tracked. Unfortunately for the T-72s, they have a really odd angle. So if I'm the Leopard crew, I, I should have my engine turned off so I can hear the... This is such an easy sound to hear, but the Leopard isn't really moving yet. Now he's starting to adjust, realizes, hey, there's something going on over here. Just look a little bit to your right. Both tanks missing, driving right by each other. One's got to see him. T-72s finally got to see him. You're right he's there! Right, right. He's, he's off, he's off. Get him. Focus is on the wrong tank. Leopard says, wait a second. What? There's two? Takes a shot right into the front side of the turret. That is a good shot. We're losing hilltop. Second T-72 pins the leopard. This should be about done, so. Oh, great shot, though. Right through the tank and into the engine. But not enough. Two T-72s. Just a little too much for the leopard. Good fucking push, uh, old tanks and he love. Good fucking push. All Canadian Sorry, armor destroyed. Yeah. Going for a track. Tank is still should be double tracked on my mark. Yeah, I think I got it with the track.
check on my toe. The ATGMs on three. from toes and toe mat Vs. Trying to let Sorry, the tankers the know which one's lane? tracked, which tank is damaged. And there you go. Abrams, he's probably going to stick in this fight for one more shot. Oh, and he's not able to take it. He's going to have to back out. T-72 shrugs off one round. Oh, but he's not going to be able to shrug off that one. T-72 takes a really good shot from the forward Abrams. And he's at an angle where he should only be getting hit by one. T-72 misses his shot. Abrams, it needs to be a good one. Might have been a little high. And deflection, though, by the T-72. Very good shot right through the center of the tank. And that is now heavy smoke for the T-72. Should be on fire with this one. And there you can see just barely fire kicking up on the backside of that T-72. One more round and there it goes. T-72 finally pops. Abrams claiming another Russian tank kill. And this crew is going to pop up though and turn around and see he's got two more to deal with. Just over the side of the hill. And hold on, what are they firing at? Oh, they're firing at Lodgies. Oh, run! A smoking Lodgy is trying to zig and zag. And are they going to? No, not able to do anything about it. Get picked off by the T-72s as another round impacts the Abrams coming up behind them. And another one impacts the Abrams in front of us. Seven, I got RTV. Good luck. Abrams look like they're being torn to shreds a little bit right now. 25%. That is not a good place to be. Abrams just nearly at that fire stage where they need to start bailing out here soon. Oh, that's a deflection, though! I'll repair. It's just her right now. It's really fucked. Another shot, and there's the fire. Can the T-72 knock it out? One more shot, and this Abrams is donezo. And there it goes, crew splayed out against the desert and finally goes down. Oh no, wait a second. You got one more. They got reinforcements. Abrams from the backside now taking shots. T-72. Oh, he decides not to finish off the one on the left. Goes to impact the one straight front. And oh, it doesn't matter. T-72 off his less is ammo rack. That's why he swapped. What a shot. Pins right through. Ammo rack kill. And Abram just goes on to move to the next target. Multiple shots right through that front. T-72 played. And the T-72 is going to just dip underneath the hill. And another one's going to peek up on the edge. What a shot. Right through the oh, midship. It's not a ship, but you know what I'm talking about. The front, just the, this frontal armor is the strongest in this side area, almost broadside. And speaking of a broadside, turns around and another T-72. It's the broadside of the Abrams. This is absolute insanity. Tanks are just uh, popping up left, stuck. right, and center. Two Abrams go down to one T-72. And the Russians seem to have the advantage finally on the east flank of Talil. To finish it off as we hear some more rumbling as another ztz rolls right down the road and i think squad five or mea are being very smart by not firing until they have a good shot both tanks lining it up against the ztz completely blind doesn't even realize he's running into an ambush here in front in front of front you hear the call out just a little too late driver takes one shot as a second t72 fires into the ztz and ztz hasn't even fired yet finally takes one out and it two looks tanks, like he's gonna tanks. track the t72 one. and he might be doing just yeah. enough yeah. <laughs> backs off the hill as it fires off into the distance now squad seven gonna do what they had done to them earlier as offer offer the support Squad 7 at the start of this game were the ones holding the line while everyone else came up behind and 
kind of save the day. Now they're going to try to return the favor here. As why do they still have the ATG amounts? Load your cannon! Trying to get cute with these ATGMs. I'm not a huge fan of them. And that is a, oh, that's a T62 and a T72. ZTZs, this should be com easy mode. But they honestly just don't get cute with the ATGM. ZTZ should have a fantastic shot on both of them. T T62 Front arm takes there. one right into the side, but he is not tracked yet. Just barely. Oh, that looks like a deflect. And Z no, ZTZ no, misses. Fuck. We can see off to our left for some reason. The backup There's ZTZs are just watching. Nothing is happening. Out. ZTZ trying to take a little bit more damage than he really should. I'm not quite sure what's happening right now. Both of the backup ZTZs are doing nothing. We actually see one going on the retreat. And this might cost the Chinese team another tank. And finally off to the left, looks like squad seven's second tank. Coming in and there you go, T-72 down and T-62 is gonna be left, well, <laughs> with absolutely nothing to show for it. And there it goes, ammo rack. Unbelievably close. Really should not have been that close with a three on two and honestly a ZTZ. Three ZTZs against one T72 and a T62 should have been much easier. Uh, I'm gonna call that kind of a blown play by MEA right now. They should have killed at least one of these vehicles. Helicopter and that is a very dangerous hover. Incredibly dangerous hover and that's why Fantastic RPG right into the crew compartment of that Blackhawk. And he's actually able to scare him away. Engaging enemy tank and it's all down south. C-72 banks a shot off its front plate on the right side of your screen way in the fog. You can see the smoke now moving right to left. Wow, fantastic shot by the Abrams. Pins through and actually tracks the T-72. No, does not track. Oh, and knocks him out. Easy as that as a Samir car comes up right behind him. And I think he's lost unless he's a hat and he is n not a hat, but he is an RPG. And I mean, what did you expect? I mean, good effort, I guess. That went about as well as he probably could have guessed, right? <laughs> A valiant effort. But not gonna do much to an Abrams. ATGM though from the BMP. BMP2 now swapping to its auto cannon. Abrams misses. I don't know why they swapped to the auto cannon unless they are, are down in ATGM. And this should be another easy kill for the Abrams. And it is. Takes an RPG in the backside of the turret though. Another round dumps short. And Abrams looks to have lost stabilization in the turret. Defensive smoke, drive smoke, artillery on South Farm from MEA as MEA are also capturing. Village well, that is a tandem round and they are on fire. Abrams is in a really tough spot. As you can see, hat laying prone and they're just gonna have to accept their fate. Tandem misses. They're gonna have to try to stop that fire now. They need, oh, they're, they're stopping right next to the hab. They need to, they need it. You gotta do it. You might lose infantry, but. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I've got to say though, that's a good effort. Abrams knocking out T-72, knocking out BMP, knocking out infantry. And a bunch of bodies just lay in the wake of that Abrams. Good effort from the crew there.
Oh my goodness, the T-62, just as he was starting to run across the We're desert, the, tank, you guys. the leopard has already taken a shot. T-62, I'm surprised they hadn't have called out. Oh, the, the leopard hits the palm tree. You can see him right through. Oh, and the T-62 bounces the first shot. They were trying to go for the track. 50 cows are impacting here. That round actually goes through the ammo rack. Oh no. Okay, the, the sparks of the 50 cal made it seem like the ammo was cooking off. Instead, it goes through, pins through the turret, uh, just yeah, misses the ammo rack, impacts three, behind three, us. Three, you can right see that smoke. That is very, very lucky. And that is unlucky for the T-62. Two rounds already impacting. And a second T-62 has moved in. T-62 is still being impacted, and here you go. One T-62 on the right side of your screen, one on the left. And the Leopard is moving to engage the new one. T-62 bounces his shot. You can see the AP round just clank off the desert. T-62 now. This is the second one coming in from the flanking side, and he's taking the brunt of it now. Good impact from the T-62, but that might just be it. One more round and this T-62 is cooked. The Leopard seems to be standing their ground. And, oh, just barely. It's on fire. You need to get those repair kits out. The Leopard's going to have the quicker reload. No, it is. It goes. The Leopard goes down. Two T-62s are just too much. And Insurgent Armor able to completely punish that leopard just out in the distance. It took a little bit of a distraction from that first T-62, uh, but the second one comes up clutch. And one Abrams is taking rounds right in the smoke here. And that's from a T-72. That's just, oh, and oh, what a flank. Abrams coming around the flank, backside of the T-72. He has absolutely no idea where it's coming from. Already takes three shots and he's just looking left and right. Where? No idea, crew, man. This mouse tries to get eyes on and nope, gone. T-72 absolutely deleted and Abrams are about to get maybe a taste of their own medicine here. T-72 just north, swings a turn around and dials in, smacks into the rear side of the Abrams and they need to pay attention. They know that came in from the north side, just not sure where exactly. And the second Abrams should be able to get eyes on. Oh, that's a quick dismount. Is that driver dismount? No way did he actually just driver dismount that. He might have. That is a bold move. That's the driver of the Abrams taking out the binos. I think he's... Yep, you got an observation mark on it. He's hightailing it back to his tank. I don't think I've ever seen that. Usually it's the commander that does that move and T-72 is now getting engaged from the flanking Abrams gonna get tag teamed here is gonna crest and another shot goes slam right through the front plate nothing the T-72 can do gets a nice little trackage oh side armor though if he gets a good shot that might be it for the Abrams not gonna happen an absolute wolf pack pouncing on two t72s and what a play by the driver oh another one still in the area gets tracked and that's a fantastic shot this abrams can he get there quick enough because one more shot in his a oh no almost get down mr president's his buddy And that is a third, not able to save nice the second Abrams. And this might be a little bit more than they could have dealt with. T-72 is quickly reversing. And there you go. Absolute chaos in the desert of Talil. You got two T-72s crashing the flank. And hold on, we got another Abrams. This is absolute chaos right now. On Double Come smoke, on. and you have Abrams right over the berms. You can see him. West tank is backing up. Took a shot. Oh, hold on. No, he's in the desert. Or desert. Of course he's in the desert. The whole map is the desert. He's in the middle of the road, rather. Abrams 
I don't think he actually took a shot. He did. Takes a shot into the T-72. The fire starts kicking off and one off to our left goes down. This T-72 is going to try to do a little revenge shot. Fantastic. Right into the turret and he might have lost stabilization there. Misses. Lost his turret. You can hear him over Kelms. And another one straight into that ammo. You gotta be very careful. One more shot. You can start getting a cook off for that Abrams. He does a little bit of defensive smoke. Starts reversing. At least the Abrams has some good reverse speed. And we're not sure if that one landed. This T-72 is a fantastic flank. It's not impossible for the Abrams to win this. You need just need to get some good shots. Preferably something that will disorientate the T-72 get a good uh, track or something like that so that way they miss a shot and then because your loading is going to take uh, is going to be much quicker than the T-72's auto loader try to squeeze off just a second round but it looks like that's not going to happen crew dismounted trying to put the fire out one bleeds out and the crew it's disc it's they're done ain't nothing left T-72 mops up another Abrams, and this is just turning into an absolute boneyard of tanks. That's a Spandrel off to our left, and he's taking shots hey, into the Abrams Spandrel, on our again. right. Yeah. The moment I think it's four enemy tanks killed. Four enemy tanks killed. Abrams in a whole bunch of smoke right now, Excellent. but one more. We took four I don't know how got more one more ATG, and he's Spandrel, down. Right. Nope, Spandrel, already right. down. But Spandrel's dead. Oh, I can't. That's like seven vehicles dead within five minutes, maybe? Absolute chaos out here. Off to our right. You're not going to see it just yet, but off to our right, you're going to have T-72s pushing up. And these two ZTZs, without realizing it, there we go. One, two, just little dots right now. They're about to walk into the first tank engagement of this round and it looks to be about a 2v3 two t72s and i believe they have a bmp as well t72 about to push up around the edge ztz the main gunner is looking the wrong way hold on turns the corner they see him right t72 actually dumps his first shot into the armor that's deflected no damage and the ztz misses their first shot a second round from a, uh, a tank way off in the distance, actually smacks the rear ZTZ, and you can see him right over the hill, just tagging that backup ZTZ. And now you have a huge standoff where one, two, three, four. Oh, you, they, they aggroed everybody. Everybody's now coming to play for the tank fight. Hold, hold, hold. You see yeah, the top of the turret the right there? Pop right over. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're not even seeing it. Maybe just on the angles here, but that machine gun on the top, the remote weapon system just barely poking out over the edge of this hill. And they're going to brave it. This could be very dangerous. There you go. You, you, know. you see just, just that edge reverse. right there. He's trying to back it up now, and this is just a standoff. Tank's trying to get into position. You see to our left side as well, right over the hill. That looks like a BMP. I don't think so. We'll hear him. And multiple tanks now. You can just see the shadows. Incredibly nervy. And we're starting to get a little bit of kind of heavy weapon fire in the city. As both teams start to slam into each other on those crossroads. And wow, look at those shadows moving left to right. A big old flank coming. T-72 starting to peak. ZTZ is not seeing it. ATGM misses as two tank rounds come right into the left of the ZTZ. Tracked on the left side. Right tank needs to make something happen. Put away those ATGMs and instead get the main gun up. Both shots, at least they're... Oh, ATGM actually flies right through? I don't know how they missed it. Another tank round slams into the front turret. ZTZ trying to do something, but he's tracked. ATGM flying right past us, and they miss. Rounds landing everywhere. 
barely even hitting the tanks. T72, another one dumps into the dirt, and ATGM slams into the top side of the first T72. That one's in pain. Another round into our front. Oh my goodness, what a play! ZTZ takes out the T72, and that's the first tank down in this nice. fight. Now they're focusing on the right side, and that's a second T72. Unbelievable ZTZs with some huge plays, and a third one taking shots right into the, the side. There is too much exploding. We all want that. Off behind us, I think that was a BMP that just popped, or maybe the ATGM vehicle. That is a, a, a lightly armored vehicle, no doubt. One tank round to the side is gonna pop it, but here we go. Now it's back on up a little bit. Now we have three, two T-72s and one lightly armored vehicle down at the moment as a third one's coming in. ATGM's flying right over us. ATGM trying to land, and it does. It hits. Another vehicle down as one BMP goes down for MEA. And is that a third? I don't, oh my goodness, another ATGM slams right into the side. These are just a third T-72 cooks off. That is an ammo rack. And a fourth. Yeah, we killed another, that's uh, four down for sure. What a huge show of force by China. Outnumbered to start the fight. ZTZ's just falling back, making sure they have strength in numbers and just holding strong, making the plays they need to as the last T-72 on the right flank appears to just be limping back, trying to just get himself behind cover so he can repair a bit. And finally, one ZTZ does go down, but that is a four for one trade at the moment. And do they not see? T72 gets a nice flanking shot. ZTZ should mop up here with one more right into the side. And that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Both tanks at a devastating low health right now. Who's gonna get the shot off first? And it's the T72 takes out two tanks for himself. With the angle, nothing can actually happen right now. And he mops up a ZBL. And another round just ricochets, flies way over. This is an incredible tank fight. Thought it was going to be an absolute stomp, and it ends up being a huge slugfest. ZTZ trying to push up around and get the second to last T-72, and he looks like, oh, he dumps it into the dirt right in front of the, the tank here. Looks like he might be able to play it off. Lindy, can I uh, take uh, 600 build, please, for a tow? And that is a fifth, and here you go. Last T-72. I don't believe the ZTZ crew that we're looking at right now sees him. He's got some BMPs. He's got a bunch of randomness off to his right that is just attracting his attention right now, but he needs to focus, maybe get in comms, because there you go. Last T-72 is pretty much taking free reign. And it looks like he might have even killed another vehicle out here. And he does. I can't believe this crew hasn't seen him just yet. You can see the turret right there. The repair station's coming up uh, to the south. And just short. In my opinion, the ZTZ is one of the harder tanks to aim at those finite numbers. The, the actual turret sight, the gun sight, is not as user-friendly as these T-72s and even the Abrams. And let's go. Yep, that is a complete... Wow, what a huge, huge fight right here as a RPG. Smacks the engine of the last T-72. ZTZ is just going to try to face check it. It doesn't matter. As he smokes himself, if you're in this situation, you don't want to panic as this T-72 crew is doing right now. If you actually do this smoke, you can't get a nice shot off. And it doesn't yeah, no. matter. How many does that make? ZBD, and it looks like, yep, you got the hat kit right next to him. Getting most of the damage out on this last T-72. And when it's all said and done,
we have a couple of T-72s that have respawned, or I guess one uh, in that fight. Uh, but it, when it's all said and done, five ZTZs killed, all six T-72s destroyed. It looks like both ZBLs destroyed and both BMPs destroyed. I cannot find, aside from the T-72 that has just respawned, even the BMP-1 was destroyed, and I think the Samir Cornet, every single thing that had some form of armament was destroyed on the MEA side, with the lone winner being that ZTZ. What an incredible armor play that we got a witness right there. And that wraps up the top tank battles of 2023. Do you agree with the placements? Did one not make the cut? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see the full Eye in the Sky episodes from where these games came from, I've also included those in the description. And if maybe you want to get yourself in an Eye in the Sky match, or maybe even make next year's top 10 plays, do make sure to join my server community, the Potato Fields in-game, and you just might get lucky. Thank you guys again. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, peace.